Hey DP and AI. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to my channel where we show you how to make money online with low content products like KDP, low content books, printables and digital planners. So as of 6th of September 2023, Amazon actually introduced a new section in their content guidelines and a new section when you go to upload or edit a book on their KDP platform. And it's basically about AI. So what they're wanting you to do now is actually to state that you have used AI to generate either your images, text or translation for your books. Now you don't need to state if you've used AI assisted rather than AI generated and it defines what the two different ones is in their content guidelines which is basically this link here which will also be below this video so you can actually go and read it for yourself but basically what it's saying is that any text or image or translation that you've used in your book whether you've edited it or not is considered ai generated now you can go and say get a list of ideas for books maybe a list of outlines for books and then you've written everything else yourself that is then considered ai assisted and not ai generated so a lot of artists also go and get reference images and from reference images they create their whole new image and it looks nothing like any other reference images then again that would also be considered ai assisted rather than ai generated but again, it is also telling you that you are responsible for stating whether it's AI generated or AI assisted. Now, if you are purchasing your own clip art from different people, you need to make sure that they tell you whether it is AI generated or whether they've created it themselves without using AI tools such as Midjourney, ChatGPT, Dali, Leonardo or Google Translate. So you need to get that information in order for you to click the button. So where do you actually find this button? Well, basically, when you upload a new book or you go going to edit a book, you get the first page, which is all about the paperback details, which is about your title, your subtitles, your description, your seven keywords, categories and all that. Then you get to your second section where you're going to actually say what size your manuscript is and whether and where you're going to upload it and whether you're going to have glossy or matte cover it's in that section where just before the kdp launcher and basically this is what you see you see it's collect amazon is telling us that they are collecting information about ai tools in creating content they are not telling us that we cannot use ai they at this stage are telling us they are collecting information on it because like a lot of companies out there they no doubt will be using their own ai tools their bots and that are using ai tools as well so they're just asking us what we're doing with it so did you use ai tools in creating text or images or translations in your book so if you created a coloring book and you've used mid journey to create it or and you've probably used other tools like leonardo or dali or blue willow there's loads of them out there then you would now this bit here i put in as well is actually to show you when you click this it actually tells you what they're defining and that link there goes to where they tell you what they, how they define it and their content guidelines. The thing that KDP is more worried about is copyright, trademark infringement and quality, which is also on the same page where they talk about what they consider AI generated or AI assisted. So once you've clicked yes, if you have actually created a book using any of these text images or translated AI generated tools, then you need to click on these drop downs. Now, these drop downs give you options. Now, if you're doing a coloring book, there's no text in it, then you would say no or none for that section. But if you had got text in there and you do say ChatGPT or Writer or Jasper or whatever, you would then need to state how 
much of it you've used, whether you've actually edited it or you've done no editing or anything like that. Same with images. It's asking you if you're just using one or a few AI generated images or if the whole book basically is AI generated and whether you've done minimal or no editing or extensive editing. And then again, with translation, you've got the same issue there where it's asking you, is it non, is it subsections, or is it the entire work? And if you've actually edited it or not, again, at this stage, they're only asking for information. Then once you've decided on one of these, then you need to actually fill in what tool. Again, they're looking to find out what you're using. So chat, GPT, Dali. Mid Journey, Leonardo, Google Translate, any of those, you type in the tools that you are using to do that. Now, this might be for them to check that you can have commercial use for it. It might also be while they're waiting for different court cases, because there is a court case against Chat GPT, there's court cases against Stable Diffusion and Mid Journey. I don't think it's looking like the cases against mid journey and stable diffusion will be won by the um, artist. It's all to do with copyright. There's a lot more detail, and I'm not a lawyer, so I can't go into that on here. So that's the information that you need to actually provide. Now, is that stating that you don't need that you can't produce any books with AI, it is not stating that at all. The thing that you've got to be concerned about if you are creating books with AI is that if you are just getting the stuff and putting it all together and you're not editing it, you're not changing it, you're not making it unique enough, the quality is not good enough, or you are copyright or trademark infringing, that is the things that you need to be worried about, not AI itself. AI is a tool and it's like anything else. If you use a tool wrongly, incorrectly, or you use it for bad purposes, then it's on you and it's not on the tool. So, you know, a fisherman can't blame its tools, basically. So again, this is not anything to be worried about if you've created books in AI or using AI, you should only be worried about it if your quality of books are not good enough. And if you've got books that you've got a horse with three legs or got three years, like I've seen some of the books out there, then you probably need to unpublish them and edit them and change them and improve them anyway. It's just a wake up call for that. This was something that we've been expecting. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I noticed when I was editing a couple of books, I was changing the keywords, improving the keywords there. Instead of it taking about half an hour where you got an email back saying your book is now live, it took up to five days. So I suspected there was something happening in the back end. And this is probably one of the things that is happening. So good luck with all your publishing. If you have got AI books, do not stress unless, like I say, they are bad quality and they've got copyright and trademark infringement in them. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.